Okay, so in the last video I looked at um, when we have constant mass, but I said obviously Newton's second law, that's a specified case, well what if mass isn't constant? And a classic example of that is a rocket. So we've got a diagram of a rocket over here on the right hand side to illustrate the information given in the question. I realise it doesn't look much like a rocket, so let's you know, put some fins on it, maybe make it pointy so it looks like a rocket and right uh, European Space Agency on the side see definitely a rocket now so what you see in the question is we've got a thrust upwards in this case because the rocket's pointing upwards of 100,000 newtons and obviously we have a force the weight force acting down but the problem is that the weight force down isn't constant so how do we go about dealing with that and what we're interested in getting to in this question is calculating the velocity of the rocket at 10 seconds. Okay, so first of all, let's calculate what the wave force is in terms of the information we have. So, fully laden, the rocket's mass is 1200, and we know that it loses 2 kilograms every second, so at any given time t, so mass will be this, and obviously we're interested in its weight, so we're going to multiply that by g. So let's work out what the resultant force is. The resultant force is going to be 100,000 minus that, so 1200 minus 2t. And obviously, to get acceleration from that, we need to divide force by the mass. So I'm going to split this up into two, so I'm going to do the 100,000 over the mass on one side, and then the 1200 minus 2tg multiplied by g over on the side, and you'll see why in a second. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see, I split them up because this way you get the cancellation on the right-hand side, which makes things a bit simpler later on. So this is the current state of play. We've got the acceleration there, and we want to try and find what the velocity is. Now, when mass is constant, obviously, in this situation, we can start to think, well, we've got constant acceleration. We can apply SUVAT equations. In this case, we can't have any of that. We've got a changing mass means that your acceleration is going to be changing all over the place. So you can't use that previous mechanism we used to calculate the velocity. So we're going to have to do something a little bit different. So let's move that up. So we're trying to get... Now, to get acceleration from velocity, obviously, we divide by time, or in the slightly more mathematical way of looking at we differentiate it with respect to time. So to get back to velocity from acceleration we must have to integrate with respect to time. So it's going to be the integral. Now we wanted it for 10 seconds so we're going to do it between 0 and 10 of 100,000 1200 minus 2t minus g, and we're going to integrate with, integrate it with respect to t. Now, at this point, things are a bit tricky. And they're tricky because we don't have a mechanism for dealing with this sort of integration. So what we have to do is we have to make a substitution. And the substitution we're going to make is we're going to say u is equal to 1200 minus t. Okay, so we're going to substitute that in so that we have a, a format that we can actually integrate. But we're obviously going to, if we're going to replace the t's with u's, we're going to need to integrate with respect to u. So we're going to need to work out what du is. So let's do that. So du by dt is equal to just minus 2 in this case, which means dt is equal to du divided by minus 2. So when we want want to put swap in that, basically, we're going to have to put in this part over here, because we know that that's equal to dt. 
And what we're also going to have to do is we're going to have to calculate what the new limits are because obviously those are in terms of t. So when t equals 10, u is going to be um, 1200 minus 2t, so 1200 minus 20, that's going to be 1180. When t equals 0, u is going to be 1200. Okay, so let's write this all in and see what our sum currently looks like. Okay, bearing, bearing in mind those things that we've looked at. Okay, so this is the new format by substituting in all those things we've just calculated. Now, one of the things you'll notice here is on the left-hand side, the limits are actually, well, that's not the way we normally look at We normally have the bigger number on the top. And the way we can sort that out is... By, if you want to switch those round, you have to multiply everything you're integrating by minus one. But obviously, everything is already multiplied by a minus sign, so we can just basically cancel those two things out. So we're going to get left with something along the lines of this. And you'll notice here, I've also taken the half multiplier outside. So now we're actually at a point where we can do some integrating. Happy days. Okay. So let's go about doing that. So what we're going to get left is, we're going to end up with, so we're calculating V. So we've got our half outside, and obviously we're going to apply our limits in a second. So we've got whatever this term is, it's going to be multiplied by 100,000. And the Integrating 1 over u with respect to u gives you the natural logarithm of u. That's just uh, just an integral you just have to know. And then obviously minus g u within the limits that we had already looked at. So we've got the 1200. 180. Now, this is the point where you just have to bung lots of numbers into... Uh, in what into this format, so you put 1200 in first, and then obviously put and subtract from it when you put uh, 1180 in it, and you end up with an answer. Yes, we finally got to an answer of 742.255915. Blah 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 blah. But if you remember in the original question, like our mass flow rate of fuel prints is only given to one sig fig. So that's a ridiculous amount of sig figs, so anything more than two is preposterous. So I'm just going to round it there, and we get our velocity after 10 seconds is 740 meters per second, roughly twice the speed of sound on Mach 2, if you prefer giving it in that format.